Sometimes when fixing old equipment, you find that things just never go right. We picked up this frankly disgusting Dell SC420 as part of a job lot of old Dell equipment. It had been sat unloved in the corner of someone's spider infested shed for god knows how long. It had taken me a while to think about how I might use this system in my current setup. My plan is to make it into a server that I can connect my older systems to to allow me to transfer files between them. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we need to clean it up. As you can see, it had various arachnids living in it over time who had invited their bug friends around for some kind of orgy. As you can see here, the system was originally fitted with a Pentium 4 2.8 GHz chip. We upgraded this to a Pentium 4 660 to give us a bonus in performance. Although Dell website states that this chip isn't supported, I found various threads on the internet that suggested it was, and hey, if you can't trust a bloke off the internet, who can you trust? So after a complete strip down we take it outside for a good scrub and she comes up nicely. Now I'd had a plan for a while to revive plastics. In the car world you can use a heat gun on a bumper to bring back the oils to the surface and make it look like new. So I wanted to try if this would work with an old Dell PC case. Fortunately for me, some buffoon left the heat gun on the area too long and the plastic mounted and deformed. I feel that this might have gone better if I'd have A. heated it up while it was fitted to the case and B. not left the heat gun on there for so long. But you live and learn and you don't discover new things without some kind of experimentation. So let's begin the rebuild so we can get this bad boy back together and fire up some good old Windows Server 2003. Thank you. 
Now I had planned to use an aftermarket cooler, or at least an OEM one that was better than this crap. Unfortunately, this Foxconn bracket is rather unique to this board. So it was back in with the old cooler and the old knackered fan. Now remember, when you reinstall the fan, the shroud and the CPU cooler, make sure that you have fitted all the brackets before you do so. So she's all put back together and this is where we ran into our problems. I decided to run two hard drives in a RAID 0 array. Although the BIOS would set them up in a RAID configuration, the drivers were not there in my Windows Server 2003 installation to detect them, which constantly caused a blue screen of death. After thinking that I had solved the missing driver issue, the system then proceeded to have graphical errors and reporting low system voltage even with a brand new battery. It was at this point that I decided to call it a day. I had spent a long time on this computer, I was getting angry, and I needed a cup of tea. So there you have it. A Dell SC420 that is very clean, but doesn't work. If you would like to watch more videos where sometimes I have more success and sometimes I have less, please click like and subscribe and share with all your friends and relatives.